I really am anxious to hear you say it because I know you do a great British voice, so Menagesty. Oh my God, you said that like such a New Yorker. Did I? Menagesty, where are you from? I'm, I'm from Chicago, but. Oh, it's Menagesty. You can, uh, the, the J doesn't have to be silent. You could say Menagesty. You know, or you know, if you want to be like having an accent, you're like Menagesty. See, that's what I was waiting that's for. That's what you were waiting uh. for, see? <laughs> Uh, how involved in the whole uh, creation of it and, and talk to me about the incredible packaging I keep hearing about. Um, I was very, very involved with the smell because my first fragrance, everyone loved it. Um, we won like awards and, you know, did so well at like the department stores. And so I was like, okay, the second one has to, you know, live up to that. So um, I went through like just a lot of different concoctions you know like they'll send you like tons of bottles with mixtures and you have to smell them and i like to sleep with them on overnight to see if they pass the overnight test because mm. i think when you get up in the morning you still should have like some sort of a you know sexy smell to you and that's like it, it it's reminiscent of the night before and it's like you know girls like that <laughs> so um so i went through a lot of just like smelling different you know, uh, mixtures. And then when we got Menagesty, I just knew it was the one because it, I never smelled anything like it, but it but it seemed to p take me back to something. And I couldn't really put my, my mind on it. I was just like, what? It, you know, it had like this mystery, it had like this sexy thing to it but it was woodsy, so it's, it kind of reminded me of like a guy too. It was just, it was just really weird. And so I called him up and I was like, we got one, it's this one. This little thing here, I don't know what number was on the bottle. I was like, this is the one. Now, talk about the bottle, because you know, you, the first time you look at the bottle, you don't think Kardashian, you don't think Bieber, you mm -hmm. don't think, you think Nikki. <laughs> I, I like my products to be, very Nikki, you know, I think that that's such a big part of building a brand, you know, like just to have it, have have what you do um, say your name, even if it doesn't say your name, you know. So uh, with the first fragrance, we had the pink wig on the bottle and um, God bless the manufacturer of that bottle because I didn't think they were going to be able to do that. But um, so with the second fragrance, my fragrance company said, we got some new designs for the bottle. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. So I'm looking at the, the bottles and they were just regular bottles. I was like, no, boo. <laughs> I was like, mm -mm, we have to create something historic. My bottles have to become like a Barbie collection. And now the bottles will be that, like all different wigs, different outfits. And my fans are like just having a ball with the pitches and stuff like on Twitter. Um, but it's becoming like a sorority. So we'll have like a, a lot of little perfume bottles running around one day with different wigs. And I mean, I just like it because it's different. It stands apart from everyone else's. And it makes me happy. Like it, it makes me feel like this is really a part of me as opposed to me just putting my name on something.